Oh, good day, scrappers. Thought I'd scrap out an Apple iMac i1225 today. Uh, this one here doesn't work, and uh, recently I picked one up identical to this, and it uh, actually works. So the only thing is that the one that works, and I put in my collection, has got a chip on the uh, middle of the screen, whereas this, this one that doesn't work is actually a perfect screen. So what I'm going to do is uh, I want to scrap it out and see what's inside these iMacs and uh, just to finally get to scrap one out on video and at the same time I want to keep this screen so I can uh, replace the one that actually works because um, the screens themselves are, are, are reasonably hard to get and expensive. Well, you know, if you pick up iMacs and they've got really good screens but you want to scrap out the old, you know, the actual computer because it doesn't really work um, I recommend keeping these screens if you can because they can sell for 30 or 40 dollars just a screen alone um, and pretty easy to sell because a lot of people damage their screens but uh, the reason why I wanted to scrap this out apart from it not working is because they're starting to come around now because they're getting on to what 10 or 12 years old so people are starting to throw these out a lot more and um, so and now because they're getting old um, you know a lot of you are probably going to find them and um, in, in rubbish piles or picking up e-waste or whatever and uh, the ones that don't work are going to need to be scrapped out I suppose so let's scrap this one out and have a look what we get inside um, they seem a little bit tricky because you look at them and you think well <laughs> where's where's the screws there's no screws there's there's no way actually inside by the by the looks of the outside you're thinking well how am I going to get into this and uh, you know but you, you don't want to start ripping into the the side of you know with a screwdriver in it it's really simple actually these screens are, are, are mounted in by magnets so they're just sitting inside magnetized inside the actual unit so very easy to take out uh, without damaging any of the screen so all you need is a suction cup and I just happen to have one from my old days when I was a cat burglar <laughs> um, so pretty much all, all you really need to do is uh, from anywhere really uh, you might go from the corners uh, sometimes you know you risk damaging the screen when you're bending it from one corner so I just prefer to go in from the middle, top middle, and just activate the uh, suction cup. And you don't need a really expensive one or anything. This one's only a $10 one, but you can actually get like a, you know, $2 one that will do the job as well. And that's it. So it's connected on, and you just need to pull out the screen. And there you go. So it's only held on by magnets. And there we go. I've got a nice front uh, screen that I can uh, replace my one in my collection and uh, it'll turn that into a really beautiful little uh, system so there you go nice and easy keep the suction cup on and uh, carry it away like that and I'll, I'll take this inside now and we'll get to actually scrapping out the iMac just got some torque screws running all the way around Get them out. So yeah, it's, it's um, this version I haven't actually scrapped because it's never really been worth it to scrap because they've been quite new and um, so I only keep the ones that I know are working for sure. And but now that there's going to be a lot more available out on the streets and stuff and um, yeah I just imagine that a lot more people are going to be coming across these and a lot less uh, popular like if they're not working they're really not worth doing much with apart from scrapping so as as with typical Apple stuff this is all aluminium just need to take out some uh, the magnets, you've got little magnets here 
that can come out and uh, a little bit of steel but yeah basically just aluminium all right well so so far so good doesn't look too complicated <laughs> but Apple uh, are really good at making complicated little things just got a little circuit board here a little um, you know what are they cameras little camera board all right let's go to the next step So very simple here, you know, it's just uh, take out the frame, take out the glass, take out the frame, just four screw or six or eight screws to take out the actual monitor. We've got a board underneath here as well as the finger strip board should be under there. So we'll uh, get into that. Okay. Uh, let's see what this board is all about. Okay, just a standard video type board. No screws in this one, it's just uh, got little clips. Tight clips. All right, so there's all this plastic on it. So we just got the, uh, you know, basic transformers. It does have some MLCC, so it's a, uh, you know, uh, a few things to maybe depopulate, but um, basically just a a low grade board that might get away with mid grade. Anything is all this ferrite copper transformer stuff might drop the value a bit and let's check out IMAX finger strip boards Yeah, just a, an average finger strip board. It does have some really nice MLCCs here. And because it's an Apple, it'll probably be class one. You know, still going to have the noble metal um, MLCCs with palladium and silver. Yeah, they're nice and chunky. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's just a standard LCD type uh, finger strip board. All right. Well, that's the monitor. And we can now send this off to, uh, depends whether your scrapyard accepts them as scrap steel or whether you take it to a recycling center to get the, uh, the screen actually recycled. So yeah, it's uh, actually for a, for a Mac or a, for an iMac, it's actually quite a simple scrap so far. They've uh, obviously made them a lot more easier to get into and to get to the components so so we've got here we've got obviously the motherboard uh, looks like the power board here hard drive CD pretty straightforward let's see if it's as straightforward to get them out
will just... Undo as many screws as I see for now. Okay, we've got different screws there. Yep. Just to make it a little bit more complicated. Okay, so. Here, we've got the power board. It's a very heavy little power board, actually. Um, you know, but still, it's just a power board. There's nothing else really on it. For goal recovery, anyway. These IMAX are a pretty, very straightforward and simple. You know, they're, they're the kind of thing that are, would be good to let your kids scrap out because they're um, they're reasonably clean and uh, yeah. Not many parts where you're going to actually do. Where you can actually damage yourself or anything. And a good opportunity to get them to uh, get used to torque screws. A couple of different sizes. Okay. First one is always a little bit complicated, just knowing, you know, not seeing one actually being pulled out. Um, any I get from here will be, make it a lot easier. But it's just a matter of feeling your way through and seeing what's holding it back. Speakers. There it is. Found our hidden screw. Should just about do us. Alright, looks a bit messy. But it's all coming. Well, that wasn't very difficult, really. So here's our motherboard, anyway. Check out the CPU. Where is it? Here we go. We've got some nice copper aluminium heat sinks here. And clean up a bit of the, the metal steel. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, they're not very heavy. But we still get copper aluminium radiator. I've actually got to pick up in about half an hour, so hopefully I'll get a bit of enough time to finish this off and get there. Okay. 
so here's our little CPU. It's, uh, it's just a little uh, green fiber kind of CPU. I'll get a better screwdriver. There we go. Just a basic green fiber CPU. Can put them in with the uh, regular green fiber because it doesn't have a, a large heat sink on the end. Um, we just put these with regular green fiber CPUs. Um, don't have one on hand to show. So there you go. Interesting. Got this card here. That I'd like to get out. Should be able to get this whole bracket out. Okay. And this heat sink. There we go. So we've just got a nice chunk. It just looks like it's just steel. And uh, the other heat sink. So we've got the copper running all the way through the copper pipes. They're only hollow pipes, so it's not very heavy. And okay. Well, that's a beautiful looking slot. Kind of like a slot card, slot CPU, but it's it's not the CPU, it looks like the graphics card. But uh, a very nice graphics card, actually. Take all of this silicon off. And uh, yeah, as you can see, you've got average gold fingers down there. You've got this beautiful uh, NVIDIA silicon chip here. And uh, these memory BGAs around the edges, tantalum capacitors, got MLCCs running around. You know, this is uh, pretty high quality stuff, so it's all going to be good components, good precious metal recovery. Not much really, apart from very tiny MLCCs, but there's uh, quite a lot of them. And uh, because they're going to be class 1 MLCCs, they are actually worth skimming off and putting into your bucket. But, uh, your gold crystal oscillator. But uh, really nice graphics kind of card here. And... Uh, because this uh, Mac was totally faulty, I'm not really sure what was working, what wasn't. So I'm not worried about this. But <laughs> as I said, they, they're coming around to very common now. So um, if you get too many, you can't sell them, and you start scrapping them out. You know, you might want to keep some of these parts. And uh, you know, if it's actually a working system, you know, you probably do um, probably just as easy to sell this board than it is to try and sell the whole complete thing especially when you take into account postage. So here's the back of the motherboard. Yeah, not bad. Still got to clean up a bit of this stuff off it. But other than that, it's, uh, you know, just an average kind of motherboard. Looks more like a, a, a laptop motherboard than anything. And uh, that's probably where you'd probably get away with putting it into uh, laptop motherboards if you clean off a bit of this rubbish. Um, yeah. And uh, just these uh, MLCCs I can see in there, uh, just the nature of what they're doing in there because it's where the CPU is. I, I can just tell that these are really high class MLCCs. So uh, yeah, good for um, precious metal recovery. Also got tantalums here, nice flat pack. But uh, obviously you don't want to take off chips like this if you're gonna sell this as a, as a uh, motherboard. But yeah. Um, and the rest, well, it's very straightforward. Uh, if, if I wasn't making the video, this is one of those scraps that just rip into it really, really quick. So. Just want to get out. 
work out how to get this hard drive out. It's one way, and it should only be a 500, yeah, 500 gigabyte Apple hard drive. But because it's got all the software on it, and you know, it might not be the actual hard drive or the software that was the problem. So, uh, yeah, it might worth, be worth keeping just because it's got the Apple software, everything ready to go. You might get another one that's faulty. So worth holding on to these just in case. Because once they start coming, they're going to come pretty quick and thick and fast. And uh, <laughs> anything Apple is pretty collectible, you know. And it's worth holding on to. But, you know, some things you've got to hold on to. You know, these are only 12 years old or so. So, you know, it's going to be another 20 years before these really become kind of sought after, you know, so um, as collectible. So it just depends on how long you're prepared to hold on to stuff. Like for me, I'm just happy to keep one of every different model. That's all I want. I don't want a stockpile of these ones. I prefer to get the old iMacs that have already got, you know, another five or eight years on, on these. Um, so they're a little bit more closer to be coming more collectible. So that's about it here. You know, we've got fan, another speaker. We've got the CD drive. Um, really, there's nothing else here. You've got this foil, aluminium foil. Um, you can peel all this off if you want. You might be able to scrunch it up, but it's not really pure aluminium. It's got plastic on the back, so it's really only going to go as irony aluminium. So really not much else there for us to uh, take out. Um, well, obviously, normally I, I don't have much fun taking these out, but obviously I, I want to take out uh, this aluminium stand. It goes as extruded aluminium. It's nice and heavy. Um, they're not worth anything for parts because they're so strong, they, don't, they just don't break. But... Uh, I don't, I know with the older version Max, sometimes that can be a bit tricky to get out, so, just, yeah, need to take out this whole backing plate um, to get out this stand, so I'll do that later. This part here, the back is just plastic. But, you know, there's a couple bucks worth of uh, aluminium here we want to get. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, the, the basic contents of the A1225. Not a whole lot, really, compared to how much this, these computers actually cost. <laughs> there's really nothing in them. Uh, you know, obviously, we. LCD monitor is going to have the finger strip board. Um, we get a finger strip board out of every LCD monitor. Uh, this more comes out of a, like an LCD TV or a larger monitor. So, okay, that's a little extra, but not a great deal. It's mostly a power board. Um, we did get the main power board, which, uh, you know, is, it weighs about um, pretty much what a regular power supply unit weighs, you know, uh, just a light one. Um, but it, you know it's reasonably heavy but uh, not a whole great deal there um, we did get this probably the nicest part uh, and for precious metal recovery probably the most valuable part is this uh, Nvidia graphics card um, you know we've got fingers we've got a beautiful uh, Nvidia um, chip there we've got eight BGA memory BGA's that are quite um, good size tantalums MLCC's uh, crystal oscillator, so a little bit of everything on here, but as I mentioned, if the actual system was working, I'd probably keep this as a, and try and sell this as a um, graphics card. Uh, yeah, and the motherboard, which uh, is not really one of those motherboards that you want to depopulate because there's really nothing on them. So it's just a, a motherboard that you would sell, um, unless you don't sell motherboards. But uh, yeah, you might be able to get away with this being a uh, laptop kind of motherboard simply because it doesn't have all that junk on the sides or the, all the connectors and all that. It's pretty much just board. You just want to take off the battery and uh, remove the cables and, uh, 
you know, maybe take off these things just to make it look a little bit more presentable. Obviously, see if we can. Well, it's got these plugs here. You probably can leave this on. I'd, I'd just remove this uh, plastic foam spongy stuff. Just leave it like that. And yeah, you should get away with a laptop motherboard. It does have a little card here that we could probably take off, which also got gold fingers, a little BGA chips. But, um, you know, I'd leave this heat sink on with the uh, BGA under there. It's only a silicon BGA. Not a great deal. Got the hard drive. That's, uh, again, worth keeping because of the uh, software that's on it. Um, it might come in handy to replace another Mac without having to... Um, you know reloads fresh software and some copper aluminium radiator so really not a lot value you know um, looking at that I can I can see about uh, what do we got uh, you know lucky to get three to four dollars worth of scrap you know um, all right five or six dollars if you add the aluminium from the stand so you know I had to do one just to see what's in it and uh, whether it's worth scrapping but in this case there's no more than a regular cheap PC and because it's a Mac you're probably better off just selling the Mac even um, you know if it doesn't work someone will still keep uh, buy it for parts and stuff because I just can't see any value here it's scrap wise uh, you know um, it is a reasonably heavy motherboard but it's only worth like as scrap it's only worth like two dollars fifty at best you know, there's 50 cents for the hard drive if it was scrap. You know, this board wouldn't be worth a great deal um, as scrap. But obviously, I, I would prefer to just go for the gold recovery. So, yeah, you're only looking at 5 or $6 maximum, including the aluminium. Um, and then you're still left with scrap steel. You've got the screen itself. Uh, probably a little bit more because I forgot about the front panel. Um, so you probably got a couple dollars worth of scrap aluminium there. Um, and well, the best part of this was getting the good screen, which is, you know, to pick one up on eBay costs about 30 to $40. So um, I got some value out of that. Um, so that would be the only reason why I, I would scrap another one of these 1225 IMAX out simply because I need some parts, I need the screen for uh, to repair another one. But otherwise, you're much better off just trying to sell them as they are to someone that uh, either wants to collect them or use them for parts themselves. All right, guys, well, hope that was a bit of fun. I've got to go out and do a little bit pick up today. Um, it's school holidays, so uh, schools are very um, busy at the moment. So I've got another school to do today. So I'd better get out there and do that. Keep scrapping, have fun. I'll catch you next time.